Alright, hello guys. Today we're going to be talking about a major snowstorm that should be hitting later this week into the weekend. And it's going to affect areas from Missouri, Kansas, all the way up to the northeastern United States, interior New England, even coastal New England, possibly. We're going to talk about that. As we're looking right now at the ECMWF total snowfall, and this is for the entire United States, this ran at 12 Z, so this is kind of old, but it only runs twice a day. So we're going to see what happens uh, at the 0 Z as well later tonight. Now, you can see that the snow starts in Kansas, Oklahoma, Missouri, and it works its way up into the northeastern United States, and that's where it really gets heavy, and we're looking at up to two feet of snow possible for some of those areas in there, which is extremely heavy. Those pink areas is really where we're going to see that heaviest snow, according to this model. And I wanted to make a disclaimer about this storm now. With the way the atmosphere is set up right now and the whole pattern, this could go in a lot of different directions. This could cut all the way to where it's up against the Great Lakes and it's up there in in, in the very interior uh, upstate New York area and that could be where it bullseyes and it could bullseye all the way down as far south as Connecticut, Long Island and New York City. So this is the variables that we're talking about and we're only a few days out and a lot still could change. So making a forecast this far out would be irresponsible. There isn't going to be, be a forecast out yet today as the models are not very confident at all. Based on history, we would know this type of situation, it could go either way. So we're going to sit back and let this one play out a little bit longer and then see what we're, we're going to forecast to happen. Uh, I've seen forecasts from Weather Channel, AccuWeather, expect those to change a lot. Anyway, we're going to take a zoom in here on the same model run, the ECMWF model run, here to New England because I wanted to get a closer look so you could see where those heaviest snows are going to set up. You can see central Pennsylvania, state college, areas like that. You look to get, I mean, anywhere up to 20 inches in there. I mean, 15 to 20 inches possible. It looks like Massachusetts, 20 inches, 20 inches in southern New Hampshire, and 20 inches up to 2 feet in Maine. Uh, it really just depends where this bullseye sets up because, again, this could be a lot further inland. So we're really looking for the intensity of how much snowfall is going to occur, not as much the location. But this is what the ECMWF is calling for right now. Now here's the next model we're going to look at, the uh, EPS. So this is the European Ensemble model, and this is an ensemble of about 30 different members of the model, and it averages out their, their forecast that they're making. So this tends to be highly accurate in uh, long-range situations. And this is actually, if I made a forecast, it would look pretty similar to this uh, actually right now. It's kind of meets in the middle, and this looks like a really good safe guess early on uh, as the safest location to put the snow. Now, you see anywhere in that purple, you're looking at 6 to 8 inches of snow. And, and as you approach those those pink colors, that's where you're getting more like 10 inches plus. And it's when you get to those very light pinks, that's where we're talking closer to 20 inches of snow. Uh, so this model is looking to give central Maine and then that southern New Hampshire and southern Vermont area uh, the bullseye of the snow here. Now, we're going to look at the GFS model. And this one's the furthest inland, as you can see, and we do get a lot of those higher amounts, but it is in the northern Vermont, northern New Hampshire, and northern Maine areas, and then that more interior upstate New York area that I was talking about, as well as that northern Pennsylvania. Instead of that central Pennsylvania, it's the northern Pennsylvania area that looks to get the bullseye according to this model. And now we're going to take a look at the gem real quick, the entire United States again, and this one shows it a lot further north. Uh, and you can see even, even Chicago getting possibly 6 to 8 inches according to this model. So a lot can happen. A lot can change. That's, again, why we're not making the forecast yet. Uh, and in those greens is your 12 inches plus. So you can see where that bullseye likes to set up on this one. All the way from Ohio through Maine according to the CMC model. Very interesting stuff. Now I wanted to make a disclaimer. Uh, model runs aren't a forecast. A computer-based model is a computer program that is designed to simulate what might or what did happen in a situation. These models run four times a day and tend to vary in what they're forecasting. Models are a tool, tool to help forecast. They should not be used alone to forecast. We use experience and understanding of the atmosphere over model runs, and then we use that understanding and experience to interpret what the model runs are telling us, and then we take it with a grain of salt and don't uh, put all our eggs in one basket as far as the models are concerned. Now I wanted to show you a comment from the last time I showed this type or made this type of video. It says basically they have no idea what it's going to do yet and this this is this can't be any more wrong uh, because actually we have an idea of what's gonna happen. That's exactly what we have. We have an idea of what's gonna happen. We just don't have a solid answer yet. Uh, so you, basically it's the opposite of what this guy said. 
We have an idea of what's going to happen, just not a solid answer. And I get lots of comments like this, and it doesn't make any sense. Anyway, guys, have a great week. Have a very safe time during this storm. Stay hunkered down. Uh, and stay updated for or stay up to date with the latest information from the National Weather Service. Also, make sure to subscribe uh, to my channel for the latest updates on this storm from my channel as I'll be making a forecast again in the next two days for this storm. So if you'd like to stay up to date with that, you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video.